Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I mean, it's pretty dang big. I've got a lot of stuff in front of me. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like big old Dollar Tree hauls. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe because I always do lots of Dollar Tree hauls, DIYs, home decor stuff, and you know, some other random stuff thrown in here and there. But now let's go ahead and hop right on into the haul. Starting with, I will start with the non-seasonal stuff because I got a lot of stuff. The first things that I picked up are some more of these jars, I guess you would call them. Uh, they're glass and I've shared these many times before. I love these for storage. I love the way that this one goes, you know, on its side like that and sticks out to the front. And then this one has the little ridges in it. I'm going to make over my little smoothie area where I keep all my smoothie supplies and put it all in this so it looks nice and pretty and yeah so I think these will work really well for that. And lots of different things you can use these for. Next thing I picked up is this craft storage box. I've seen this many times, didn't really have a use for it. I have a Halloween DIY in mind that has lots of little um, supplies I need to be able to organize. I don't want to give anything away. I keep hoping like don't anyone do this DIY before I do it, but you know, it can happen, obviously. Regardless though, I will need to organize my stuff, so I thought this would be perfect for the things I need to organize. I don't know if y'all know, but scrunchies are back in style, and I'm all about it, and so is my daughter. She told me that like everyone at her school is wearing, well, in her class is wearing scrunchies. I was like, girl, I can get you some scrunchies. So I found this really cute one from Dollar Tree, obviously. Why did I just say Dollar Tree? It's all from Dollar Tree. But I found this really cute one. I thought this would be really, you know, cute for fall and Halloween time. Then I also got this one that just has three in there and, um, you know, basic colors. I also got her a couple more, but she grabbed them. But they were just basic colors. They had like a pink and a purple and I think um, one other color, maybe a gray. And then I also picked up this pack of elastics what are they called they're just called elastics oh and they glow in the dark i did not get them for you know them to glow in the dark i like these a lot even though they do break over time i like them when you know they'll last a few weeks if not longer than that so i'm a fan of these over like just the regular elastics because i put them on my arms so much and the elastics will dig into my skin and just leave such a mark and these don't really do that so and I think they're kind of cute I also picked up these these were like super popular a few months ago everyone was hauling them and I never had them at my store and then um, I ended up seeing them randomly so I picked up two of them I was going to do a little DIY with them and I haven't done it yet but regardless I think it's just you know cute as on a little shelf or like on your nightstand and can obviously DIY it and do something with it but even on its own I think it's super cute I also picked up this little pencil pouch and the purple it's like a velvet they had them in other colors too I am stocking up on things for Christmas stocking stuffers all that and I thought this would be good my daughter loves these little pouches to keep things in and put them in her backpack and stuff so I thought she would like this one speaking of stocking stuffers I also grabbed this little keychain it's a gold sparkly glittery shoe like it looks like a type of a converse or something like that and I thought it was really cute again a cute little stocking stuffer kids can put it on their backpack they also had this in a couple other colors I think these like I said will be really cute to put in little stocking stuffers or just an additional little gift for kids love to put stuff on their backpack especially girls I don't know about boys but girls love to little hang little keychains and you know bits on their backpack so I thought this would be cute the next thing I picked up is this stencil it says home sweet home and I just thought the stencil might come in handy especially with DIYs and stuff I am NOT someone that can freehand things so I figured I would go ahead and grab this and um, try it out on a DIY I don't know what DIY but I'll think of one I also picked up two little mixing bowls this one's obviously a little bit littler than the other one again I have a DIY in mind for these so and it's a Halloween DIY so hopefully it will work out I really want it to so you will see that soon I have high hopes for these high hopes the next thing I picked up are these tissues to give to my daughter to put in her backpack and stuff and it says be a unicorn in a field of horses I thought it was really cute. My daughter's obsessed with unicorns. Oh wait, hold on. On the other side, it's cuter. It has an actual unicorn on it. 
This could also be a cute little stocking stuffer or if you have like a class of kids or I don't know. I don't know. But I just think that girls love unicorns, most of them, a lot of them. And tissues with unicorn on them, how cute. I mean, they're cuter than just like a regular old thing of Kleenexes, especially if you put it in your backpack because then you're like kind of cool at school. The next thing I picked up is this. I have seen this, what is this called? Like a wax warmer. I've seen this a gajillion times at Dollar Tree. This is nothing new. I saw a hack on Pinterest putting like those little scented laundry ball things that you dump in the washer. I've been using those lately because they are so good smelling. Like I use the Gain kind, I think it's Gain. Anyways, they're super expensive. I've never tried the Dollar Tree kind. So if you guys have tried the Dollar Tree kind, let me know how you like it, but I'm obsessed with the Gain kind. My brother talked me into it and I have been loving using them. And then I also picked up some candles to go with this so I can try that little hack. I also picked up some pine cones just because I thought I might want to use some pine cones somewhere in my house for decor. And they're cinnamon. I'm pretty sure these are probably from last year at Christmas. Um, but they still smell cinnamony, so that's good. And then I grabbed one of these that, like, they have these out all the time. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed one of these because I didn't have this shape and I wanted to do a DIY with this. I don't know if I'm still going to do it, but I'll end up using this at some point regardless. Can we take one second and talk about the fact that I have eyelash extensions now? Oh my god. I am loving them. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. Um, but yeah, I am kind of obsessed. My husband is definitely obsessed with them and waking up and like having no makeup on yet your eyelashes still look beautiful. I'm like, I love this. So if you guys want to see a video on how my experience was getting eyelash extensions and like my thoughts on them moving forward, because you know, there's some things to think about if you're gonna keep eyelash extensions on. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in seeing um, a video about eyelash extensions because I do have some thoughts about them. Moving away from the eyelash extensions though, which you cannot get at the Dollar Tree. Back to the haul, um, I got so much Halloween stuff. All right, the first thing that I got is this sign. I am so obsessed with it. I almost scared myself just then. Um, I love this sign. I love it just the way it is. I think it's perfect. It's white. It's got the little spider web here. It's got the little spider. These are glittery. It's just literally everything that I could want in a sign from Dollar Tree right here. And I love that it's longer because Dollar Tree doesn't do a ton of these um, signs that are, you know, like this length and this size. So I am just so obsessed with this sign. I wish they would have made one for fall that was like this one. Regardless though, I am still so happy with this Halloween sign. I just love it. Okay, these were right on top, so I'll grab them. They had some really cute cards when I was there at one point. I don't know if they still have them at many of them, but they're, you know, handmade cards or whatever they're considered. But this one I got to give to my daughter. It says, to my favorite pumpkin. And it's just cute. I think she'll like it. And it just says, you're the pick of the patch. Super cute. And then I also picked up this card because this owl got me. Like, I love it. I think it's so cute. Obviously, you don't even have to use this as a card. You could um, cut it and just have this front and then put it in the picture frame or something for decor for Halloween, which, oh my God, I might actually do that now. <laughs> uh, so I just love this card a lot. The inside though does have a cute saying. It says, when nighttime falls and spooky sights are seen, I will be wishing you a happy Halloween. Huh? Cute, right? Cute. The next thing I picked up are, is this, they're two. So would you say are or is, because it's one product, but there's two things in there. I don't know. Let me say it again. The next thing I picked up is this, which pick. <laughs> uh, I have a DIY in mind for this, so I thought these would be cute for it. And uh, I think they had one other kind that was a different color. I think maybe this was purple. Um, but yeah, cute for a dollar. And you can obviously do some things with it or stick it in a plant that you already have in your house. I wouldn't put it outside unless it's somewhere where it won't get like wet or anything if it rains, but still super cute. Cute, it's cute, it's cute. All right, let's talk some paper plates and napkins. I really used to haul so many paper plates and napkins. I haven't in a while. These I got last year. I like them. They look spooky. 
and um, yeah, so picked up these. I also picked up these napkins that just say cast a spell. And then I picked up two packs of just these black and white polka dot ones. I thought that, you know, these would be cute mixed in. I sometimes like to like, you know, do half and half like every other one in my napkin thing. I just liked them, okay? I just liked them. The next thing I picked up, I literally have no use for, except for the fact that I just wanted it and I wanted to wear it. I got this. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted this so bad. Not that I wanted it so bad, but I was like, this would be kind of cute. Like, you know, I don't know. Me and my husband can play with this. That sounded disgusting. Listen, we're adults here, right? Any kids watching? If you're a kid watching, close your ears for a second. Sometimes it's fun to have some fun in the bedroom. And oh my God, my grandma watches these though. <gasps> okay, maybe not in the bedroom, grandma. Uh, just fun to play with, but yes, for a dollar, I thought this was cute. I wanna try it on. Maybe put some like rhinestones around it or something. That would be cute. I mean, you could totally jazz this baby up. Oh my God, what's it gonna look like? I've never put one of these masks on before. Like ever, like anything like this. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> oh my God, Carlos is gonna love this thing. Put on like a cute, like, Little black nighty. Hello. And this would just be so cute if you're like right around Halloween or on Halloween day, like wear a cute like all black outfit or something and just like wear this around. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't think I can see out of it as well as I need to to drive. So I would take it off when driving. But other than that, yes, I love it. Okay, moving on. I picked up these skeleton hands. They are just plastic, but I have a DIY in mind for them. So hopefully they'll work out the way I envision them in my little head to work out. Yes. I also picked up these skeleton tongs. Um, not to use as tongs, but you totally could. I forget who I saw, but they said that they saw these tongs, like, eh, like not these exact ones, but ones like this. I think it was on Pottery Barn's website or something, and they were obviously way more than a dollar. So I think these are really good. If you're having a Halloween party, I would get these. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna have salad at all. Regardless, I think these are a good buy, and I hope that they work for the DIY that I want to try them for. The next thing I picked up are these shot glasses that are a skull, and they're glass. They're definitely heavy, so I like that a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just going, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I just knew I couldn't not get them, you know? Because I'm not a girl that takes shots, and my husband doesn't drink at all. So I was thinking about making a DIY with them, don't know exactly what. I also picked up another one of these little buckets, baskets, whatever you wanna call it. If you saw my last DIY video, you saw that I used this in it. I have an idea of something basically very similar for Halloween that I wanted to do. Um, so I needed another one of these. And then I needed two more of these for that particular DIY. So that's what I got. I also picked up some ornaments. I saw these and I was like, I can probably use these as filler in something. So I went ahead and grabbed them, I wish they would have had, I didn't see any white ones. That's what I was wanting were the white and black. Um, but obviously I didn't see any white ones, so I just got the black and orange. But there are bats on this one, and then what, spider webs on this one. These are definitely cute as little vase fillers, glass, apothecary jars, anything like that. I think these are really cute. Or if you have a Halloween tree. I also picked up a few of these. Oh my gosh, there's so much glitter coming off of my hand though. Yikes. Definitely spray these if you get these. These Halloween looking branches, they are so glittery, which I love some glitter, but my goodness, it's all on my hands. So you're warned. So I gotta take those out and spray them outside with some hairspray and see if I can make it so that they're not quite as glittery. Okay, we're at the final stretch. We're gonna end it with some pumpkins. I got this black pumpkin with the white stripes. Uh, I love it so much. I got two of them. I also picked up two of these, the black with the gold spiders. Yes, love these so much. I also picked up two of these orange ones with the black polka dots. I thought that was really cute. I also got this one with the black bats on it. I just love that they had some of these with, you know, the stuff on them. I thought that was such a cute 
little find. And then the last one that I picked up is this one that says spooky. And I liked this one a lot. So cute. While I was doing the video, I thought to myself, I know I have something else. So I stopped it for a second and I went to another room and I still have two more bags of things that I totally forgot. Like I kind of knew, but I didn't have it with the rest of my stuff. Anyway, so I want to make sure I share this too. Um, I also picked up these little decor pumpkins that is a four pack. I thought this was also a great little vase filler for Halloween or fall, but you know, I got it for Halloween. I picked up, I'm sure. I'm sure I have one of these in my boxes, my Halloween boxes in my garage from last year, but they do look a little bit different this year. I think they added more black to them. I have a DIY that I'm doing with these. I did some DIYs last year with these as well. Um, I will have that linked down below if you want to check out those Halloween DIYs from last year, but this one's going to be a little bit different. So I did grab another one of these. I also found these string lights. There's six of them in here and they're silvery. And I just got these because I might use them for Halloween, but I could also use these for Christmas, I'm sure. So, oh, some of them look a little bit messed up though. But I figured I would give them a try. I also grabbed a couple of these command hooks to hang a wreath on, but I'm so scared to put one of these command things on my mirror, but I should just put it in the back, right? I put it in, behind the mirror and then like upwards and then hang, that's what I need to do. Cause I'm way too scared to just put this right on the front of my mirror and then hang a wreath because I don't want, you know. I know it's supposed to be non-damaging, but I will be so pissed if I took this off and it messed up my whole mirror. Oh, I've been looking for these. I knew I got them. Got two more of the lighters cause Lord knows we go through freaking lighters in this house. And then, hold up, got more. Oh. You know, second set of skeleton tongs. But that's okay, I mean, I'm totally gonna use these. I kinda wanna just like, I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do with them, but I like these, so I'm okay with having two of them. I also picked up these napkins. I got these specifically thinking that my daughter would enjoy these in her lunch since they are purple. Um, yeah, and then, oh my gosh, then I picked up this candle jar thing. I love this. This is so cute, I love the shape of it, and I I just, I don't know, I just love it so much. I thought this was so cute, I so should have gotten two of these, but I didn't, but I also got, hold up, I also got this one that, oh, you're not gonna be able to really tell. Hold on, let me see how, there we go. See how it has like this like fishing, I look crazy <laughs> through it, but it has this, it was very like farmhouse-ish to me, um, so I picked it up because I figure I can use it somewhere and I liked it. Hold on, I have one more thing that I grabbed yesterday that I just remembered I put outside because it's a solar light and I wanted to see if it worked. Hold on. I picked up this little, oh, that was crazy. Oh, look, it's lights are going off. <gasps> That's crazy. <gasps> um, I thought he was interesting and I thought he might be cute. Oh, now he's not gonna do it. I thought he would be cute. It has a little solar thing here um, on, on my porch. They had, I think, a pumpkin and something else, but I liked the little skull guy. And I think like he's like a wacky looking skull because those lights, they don't make him look scary. He looks like, like a friendly, wacky ghost. <laughs> So I thought this was cute. Now we're done. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the things that I picked up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. DIYs coming up, Halloween decorating, home decor stuff. I've gotta do some organization stuff because I have a closet that's in desperate need of organizing. Lots of videos, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And my question for you guys this week is, what are you gonna be for Halloween? What are you gonna be? I'm having so much trouble thinking of something for me and my family to be this year. I don't know what we're gonna do. I really take pride in my Halloween costumes. We knock it out of the park the majority of the years. I think 
every year we've done pretty good. This year, I just, I'm not sure. We, we, we don't know. So I would love to know what you guys are gonna be, if you have any suggestions of what I should be. We do a family theme though. We, we like to incorporate it and kind of it all work together in one way or another. So, and my dad is paying my daughter $100 if she doesn't do something spooky and creepy because she wanted to do something bloody this year. And my dad's heart like broke and he's like, I'll give you $100 if you're Winnie the Pooh instead. And she's like, okay. <laughs> so she's getting $100 for doing something not spooky, which is crazy. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions of what we should be, but I definitely want to know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.